vibes of Vegas. How much do you say you need this time around? Uh, Just 20k. I promise to pay you back in two weeks' time. Trust me. Wait, wait. 20k? And you're saying just 20 So 20k is just... Don't do please. Please. I need this money. Just help me, please. Okay. Let's start from first thing first. How much are you owing me in totality? How much are you owing me? Let me understand. Let me understand. Do they, are we going to start calculating all those things now? Do we start calculating those things now? Just please give me give me this money, yeah? Okay. Is it all the money I've been owing you since? I promise to pay you back all of them this time. Trust me. Please. See. One. Two, three. Uh -huh. You have to come with me immediately. What happened? I don't know. Something bad has happened for them. My baby! Yes, let's go. My baby! Let's go, let's go. My baby! sorrow. It's a thing of the past in my life. Just when I thought I would never have reasons to sit here again in my life. What have I done? Ah. Hey! Ndudi, please. Don't start now, please. You've not done any anything wrong. But please, you need to be a man. A bomb? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Can you change the case in America? Why this punishment? Why? What have I done wrong? Can you me? Because Marubano can you me? Can you me? Can you me? Why? Brother, please take it easy with yourself. You have to be strong. For whatsoever thing that affects you affects the whole of us. Exactly. Please be strong. You have to be stronger, especially for your beautiful wife here.
Robin, I've served your food. Will you get out of here? But please come and eat. You've not eaten all day. I said, get out! Get out of here! Come on, get out of here! Get out! Get out! Come on, get out! Please, um, can I get some money? I need to buy some food stuff. What did you say? You need some money to go to the market to get food stuff. Wait, what actually do you want from me? You want to cost me more pains? Huh? I don't understand. How am I costing you more pains? I don't understand, Ubin. Of course I will understand. When you've already made up your mind. To make me die in misery. Why will you? Look at you. You're still thinking of food. Instead of thinking on how to go to afterlife. To get my son back. You are here talking about food. So I should give you money to go and buy food. Food that you eat. Avoid me. I said avoid me. Avoid me! I can't believe you just said that to me. I've said it. I've said it. And I'll say it again. What will you do? What will you do? Will you beat me? Will you slap me? Of course you can't. Because if you slap, I'll use this knife. I'll butter you. I'm better in this combat. And nothing will happen. Avoid me. I said avoid me. Which? What is it? What is Leave it? me first. What is it? What's going on? Hmm? What's going on? I need my husband back. Hmm? I need the man I fell in love with. That had only stood by me. I need him back. Obi, what are you doing to us? Just look at us. He don't care about me anymore. Did you say care? Care. I heard you just mentioned us. Us is me, you, and our son. So where is our son? Where is our son? Why should I care for a woman that killed my only son? Eh? Why should I? My only hope of being a father, the only reason was people who call me father. A son that gave me so much joy and happiness. The future is already well planned for him. And you cut his life short. And you're telling me us. Who is the us? So, is the us complete? No, baby. It was an accident. He fell. Oh, he fell. It was an accident. So that's what you go about telling people. Meaning you did not even realize that you are the one that killed him. You killed him. Think how can I kill my own child? I said you killed Janet. You killed him. Janet, you killed him. You are the one that killed him. I caused the day you came into my life. I caused that day, and I will always cause that day. You are a cause to me. Avoid me. I beg you in the name of God. Avoid me. I don't want to do anything I will regret. This is mysterious. Unbelievable. Oh I won't lie to you. I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. I've tried all I could to make him understand that it was not my fault. But he has refused to listen to me. Seriously, this is, this is very inconsiderate of him. Hmm. It is. 
I greet, I want to actually get something. He thinks that you can just wake up one morning. Like you wake up one morning and decide to kill a child that you prayed several years to give birth to. Oh, I, I don't understand. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what has gotten into my husband. I've been living so terribly these few days. Just because I feel guilty every step of the way. Every day I feel guilty. Guilty over what? Like seriously, guilty over what? You did not kill your child. It was an accident. You didn't kill your child. I wish you could understand this before. Honestly, I wish. Amaka, I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. All he does is accuse me every single day. Look now. I lost my baby. I couldn't even mourn him. All because I'm dealing with my husband's constant accusations. Is that right? Seriously. You just have to take it easy on you. You have to be very, very careful. Like, seriously careful. I really don't mind speaking with him. I don't. No. He won't listen to you. I know him. It's, it's too much. Anyways, I know what to do. Don't worry. You have to take it easy on your wife. How can I take it easy? With the woman that was responsible for the death of my son, only child. What was she even doing? Washing clothes outside to the detriment of the baby in the room. He fell down from the bed and died. Carelessness. So what are we talking about? I can understand how you feel, Brother Ndudi. But what I want you to know is that it is not her fault. She never knew the baby will wake up while she was still washing clothes outside. It's an accident yes. and it can happen to anybody. Good. I like the way you put it. An accident that can happen to anybody. But pray it doesn't happen to you in your home when eventually you're married. Oh, God forbid. Yes, God forbid. My brother. I don't blame you. You're still a young man growing up. So, does it matter? Look at me. Am I getting younger? <laughs> Grey hair all over. You're the closest to me. You know everything about me. How I prayed, how we prayed. Went to churches. Went everywhere asking for a child. Eventually, this baby came, baby boy, and it would die in such a gruesome manner. Out of carelessness and neglect from the mother, the woman you're talking about. I hate this woman each passing day. I hate the sight of her. Don't want to see her for any reason. Brother, brother, please. Can you please take away the hate out of this entire discussion? Please. You are taking this too far. That woman is still your wife, no matter what. Please. You won't understand. Can we just change this topic and discuss something else? It hits my emotion. And I don't want it. Please, let's just drink and be happy. Mary, 
Cheers. <laughs> Let's be happy. Uh, okay. My people were here when you left. They came to commiserate with us over. Give me food. Yeah? I said, get me food. behaving like this why are you treating me as if I, as if I'm a plague you're hurting and I'm hurting as well we both lost our only child so don't seem as if like like you're the only one morning let's burn together and move on ah. are you talking to me yes because I'm tired I'm tired of all this thing all this I'm tired you know I'll gladly give my life for, for, for that our son but did you did you why didn't you die for him to leave why didn't you? Come on, get out of here. Get out right here. Get out. Get out. Get out before I pull you son. You would have gladly given your life to, to, to your son. Why are you still alive? You would have died for him to leave. Do you think this is the best idea? Oluchi, we've talked about this thing before. It's just for a while now. Oh, but you know I'm still in school. I know. And like I said, it's just for a while. After all, school is on long vacation now. I think we have up to like, you should have like a month or so, isn't it? Mm. All I'm asking for is one month. Just one more to be calm. My other sister really needs you. Oh, ne. Mali chan wa be calm. Oh? Okay. This is one more. Hello, baby. All right, let's go. Madam Obia. Don't you know? Ah. Madam Obia. Ah. Okay. Hello. Madam Obia. Hello, Madam Obia. How are you holding up? Hmm. So, so. I'm there. My dear, God is your strength, okay? Yeah, thank you. What about your husband? Oh, he's still at the shop. He went to the shop? Yes. Well, in that case, um, um, let me take this. <laughs> Help me give this money to him. Tell him it's from me. He's dead now. What's the word All right, I'll be on my way now. All right. Okay. 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 What business do you have with Obum? Why would Obum not bring my money to me? He gave my money to you. For what? Excuse me. Excuse you. I'm asking you a question. Answer me. What business do you have with Obum? Why would he? He knows my shop. Why did he bring my money to my shop? It's a big deal that he gave me your money. I don't understand why you're shouting. You, of course, you won't understand. You won't understand. But you know what I'm talking about. Are you sleeping with him? Answer me. Are you sleeping with him? How dare you? I... How dare you say such to me? You dare raise your hand on me? Thank you, star, my wife. If not, you'd have seen the world. Oh, 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 please. There's nothing to talk my stars about. Because I'm done. I've had it up to here. I'm okay. I'm done with this marriage. Done with what?
I knew it. I knew it, brother. I knew it would get to this. See, brother, let me tell you. It's better you go and bring back that woman because she has done you no wrong. She killed her child. Stop it, brother. I wasn't expecting her to leave. But she's shallow-minded. Can you imagine? She was cooking. Suddenly left the kitchen, went in, collected her back and left. Why? Why? No, brother, tell me why won't she leave? Tell me why. This is a woman you've tortured so much. You've given her so much emotional trauma. You've abused and humiliated her. You even made her life a living hell for weeks now. Tell me why won't she leave? It's even better the way she left so she can at least keep her sanity away from people like you. It's all right. I'm sorry. I know I've messed up. I've messed up. So how do you remedy the situation? Because I, in as much as I hated her, but I still love her. I didn't want her to leave. Just forgive. So how do you remedy the situation? That I am innocent. Shopping no choir. What's going on here? I should be asking you. Where are you going with your bag? I'm done. I'm okay. I've had it up to here. I'm okay with that marriage. I'm not doing it anymore. Please, I want to go back to my father's place. Sis. Please, can we go back? No. Please, can we go back? I'm like, no. Is this now? I'm afraid of that man. Let's go back. I'm, I'm tired of that man. I can't take it any. I will lose my mind. Please. Please. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. Especially now that you're going through hard times. Trust me, you need her. But there's really not much she could be doing around here. She can keep you company. You know that I would have stayed with you from the time you lost your child. If not that I'm married and need to be with my husband. You know. I know. I understand that man. So, let her stay with you. Besides, she's a really good storyteller. <laughs> like, you can be sure of no dumb moments. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Alicia, welcome to my home. Thank you, ma. Thank you for accepting to stay with us. No, no problem. I'm happy to be here. Go in and drop your bag. You go, make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's all good. Yes. <laughs> she did a good thing. Look what I'm <laughs> But, you know I left the house before he's very present. I'm sure he will not be happy to see me when he comes back. See, as far as he's not the one that handed your back over to you and told you to leave, he, he wouldn't mind you if you're back. He won't. Trust me. I'm scared though. I'm scared of what he will do. He will do nothing. I promise, he will do nothing. Besides, this was really a bad, very, very bad idea for you to live in the first place when he never handed your bag over to you. I know now. Very bad idea. I know. I know. Anyways, please take good care of yourself and Olutri. And don't make her regret coming to stay with you. I really have to go before my husband starts missing me. No one. problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my regards to my in love. I will. Mm. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. It's just hard to believe that I've lost my precious one. Still fetch you. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Go and rest. Don't worry, I can still fill up the putter. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The one you fetched is enough. Man. I said I can still fill it up. 
I insist, go and rest. You know, go. I said, I can still fill up the putter. No, go and rest. Okay, then let me go and finish breaking the firewood. I did not finish it in the No! Morning. Leave it. Go inside. I'll come and bring your food. Okay, eh? thank you, ma. Such a hard working girl. Oh, yeah, How are you? I know this face. You are my wife's cousin, right? Yes, sir. So what are you doing here? You're back. Welcome back. Don't worry. Continue with what you're doing. Sorry, I left the way I did. I was very angry and frustrated. You pushed me, but I'm sorry. I know I pushed you, but it's okay. It's good to come back. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Ubi, hmm? my cousin came with me. Okay. Uh, she's on holidays. I want her to spend her holidays here with us. Hope you don't mind. No, no problem. So long as she's not uh, a lazy type and overplay type of kid. No, oh, she's made out of that. Okay. I we'll just want her to keep us company. That's all right. No problem. And dust. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, hey. I'm sorry for what happened to our baby. But I believe we can still have another one. You do? Yes, I do. There's nothing difficult for God to do. I believe so too. With God, all things are possible. Possible. Mm -hmm. I believe so too. I believe so too. Hey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just realized how important to you are in my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I think like I've not eaten since. So. Really? Mm. So we're going to complete that food we started. Now eat. So you didn't cook while I left? I will lie. I was so confused and scattered. <laughs> it's now that I realize how important you are in my life that I can't do anything without you. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Let me finish the cake. I'll be back soon. Mm. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, wow. You're welcome. What's that name again? Oluchi, sir. Hmm? Oluchi. Oluchi. Did you see my other slippers? Yes, I cleaned them. Let me go. Beautiful day. Thank you. Please, I will keep you well, okay? Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Hmm? Sorry, why are you apologizing? <laughs> You're such a nice girl. I'm off to work, okay? okay Take care of the house, eh? Yes, sir. This is mysterious, unbelievable, I put this. My heart is beating. <laughs> Why are you crying? I've lost my Anna, why are you crying? Stop it now. Why are you crying? I, I miss him so much. He would have been three months old today if death had not taken him away from me. Okay, you're talking about your baby. Try. I'm so sorry. Eh? 
I heard and I'm just so I'm so sorry for your loss. I, I can imagine the pain you are going through right now. You just pray the good Lord consult you, yeah? Thank you. And see, I've been noticing your husband since he beat me from for me. He's also dealing with the grief. Child, so sorry. She's a sweet little girl. Yes. You said she's your wife's cousin. Mm -hmm. Very hardworking and respectful. <laughs> yes, I can see that for myself. I don't need to be told. God bless the hands that raised her. Well, I was told the parents are dead. Dead? Yeah. Well, that's a bad one for a little girl like that. It's unfortunate. So just try and take good care of her, okay? Sure, why not? Um, why don't you take her in as your own daughter? Mm. You, you know, she has this slight resemblance with you. Really? Yes. Yes, <laughs> brother. <laughs> no problem. Have you finished... Uh, the clothes are actually the uniforms are actually to come. Oh, the uniforms, yes, and that is even why I, I am here. You see, I went to your shop and then I met your boys, but they said you are yet to come. So I dropped the materials with them and I said, let me <laughs> fire down this way. No, school will soon reopen, so I need to sew them. Yes. So, have you finished cutting? Um, not all. Not really, not all of them. Eh? What do you want me to do? I need to start sewing. And you've come here to shut my garden. Eh? <laughs> if I have known, I wouldn't have given you. No, no, I don't. Said, go and finish. Don't be offended, but then do they? You know this Tinubu regime. <laughs> we take advantage of anywhere that is food. food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Huh? So, so thank you for rush to the shop and cut this thing. Hey, trust I want to start sewing immediately. immediately. I move. Oh. Welcome. I don't care the nonsense you have to tell me. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of this marriage. Yo, what are you, what is what? Eh? Yeah, are you talking to me like You're that? You're frustrating me. No, the no, thing you're frustrating me. Not after what I've done. Not after what I've what done. What have I done? What have you not done? What have I done? Listen, I don't care the nonsense you have to tell me. I'm tired. I'm fed up. You're tired. You're fed up. I'm fed up. You're fed up. You're a useless woman. Fed up. You're just stupid. I'm... Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. What have I done? Not to do some useless. What did I do that you said? Dude, for so many days now you've not been touching me. Not even at night. Have I become so old or, or ugly for you? Even when I, I'm naked before you, you don't get aroused anymore. What is my offense? Is it that I don't produce enough fluid to keep you glued to me? What have I done wrong? Please, what is my offense? Where is that talk coming from? You can't keep doing this to me. It's, it's wickedness. Now tell me, how are we supposed to have another child if, if, if we don't make love? Eh? How? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Can you remember the last time we had sex? Or the last time we slept together as husband and wife? before you got pregnant. Can we? Uh, the doctor said I still have more chances. That we still have hope. Mm, doctor said. Hmm? The doctor said. Uh, Janet, or Dinaka, please. I don't want sex from you. 
don't need it. All I need is to be left alone. Please, just leave me alone. I beg you in the name of God. Pack your things. Dude, you can't keep doing this. It's not fair. Dude, I mean, I, I. on each other and start living like a couple. Why is it so difficult for them to make peace with each other and continue with their love and affection? Nothing shows their husband and wife from the way they are living. I wish there's something I can do to stop it. I really need to stop it. Yes, I called. Please, buy me snuff. That's across the road. That's shop. Buy for 200 naira. Snuff, like, as in snuff. Snuff, or taba. Do you have any problem with that? No. It's just that I've not seen people of your age taking it. People of my age taking it. Meaning, I'm still a young man. I'm old. And besides, uh, I learned it from my grandfather. He usually takes it whenever he's stressed. Maybe emotionally, psychologically, or physically. He takes it to stabilize himself. Okay, I'm stressed. That's why he wants to take it. Honestly, I'm stressed. But first, go and get me what I asked for. We'll talk about that some other time. Okay. Okay. Please. Uh -huh. See, uh, I, I'm happy to see that you're back to the house. How are you holding up? He's not making it easy for me. I can't even remember the last time he touched me. Touched you? See, don't tell me you're expecting his touch. Why? I mean, what for? What is he going to do? He's my husband. Husband that, that can't even get you pregnant? Shh. Have you forgotten my public please? Just me, I don't care whatever place we are. It's just the two of us that I'm seeing here. See, I don't like the way he is treating you, and even cry more than the bereaved. The child that even died is not even his. Oh! Do you want to get us into trouble? He doesn't know about this. Nobody does. Please. 
stop talking about it. So that he won't find out. I beg you. Let me hold him before my husband comes back. I'll be reading from verse 4 of Revelation chapter 21. And it says, He will wipe away every tear from your eye. There will be no more death, mourning, suffering, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. Permit me to read Psalms, Psalms chapter 46 from verse 1 to 2, which says that, God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in our time of trouble. So therefore, we shall not fear. Though the earth may give away and fall into the heart of the sea. Uncle, auntie, God is telling you here that he sees all you've been through. He sees what you've lost and how precious it was to you. But he's assuring you that he has not forgotten or abandoned you. All you need at this time is to draw closer to him. Only him can set things right in your lives. Only him can put a permanent end to your suffering and misery. Therefore, all you need to do at this time is to forgive each other and stick together in order to wither this storm. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. My husband has gone to the workshop. He's not normally at home, and you know that. So you can go and see him at the shop. I know. But I am here to see you. To see me? Why? Look at who is pretending as if she don't know why I am here. Whereas you do. Don't you need my help? I don't understand. Jane, we just lost our child. And I think it's about time we had the replacement. Listen, whatever we did in the past should please stay in the past. I'm a changed person now. Please, no longer live such life. Oh, really? How people change in due time. Wow. So tell me, don't you want a child? I do. So who's going to give it to you? Your husband? Of course you know he can't. Listen to me. Let me help you and make him happy. After all, we are brothers. Just listen to yourself. Can you hear yourself? Does that make it right for you to sleep with his wife because he's your brother? Please, leave this place before my cousin. Are you okay? Are you normal? Wait. Go, 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 go. Please, go. Jane, are you declining my help? Yes. And I believe that was why God took away my child from me. Because of what we did. Okay, I will leave. Well, in that case, I think it's high time I told my brother what has been going on between us. Excuse me. Oli, please, I beg of you, don't tell my husband what you saw or heard, please. Auntie, you know I won't do a thing like that. Promise me. 
Auntie, I can't tell him because I know it's in your place to tell him. You are the rightful person to tell him the truth. I can't. Auntie, you can. Marriage will be over if I tell him the truth. Not if you commit it into the elbow hands of God before you tell him. See, God can touch his heart and he won't react the way you are expecting. This is the devil trying to discourage and dissuade you from doing the right thing that pleases God. Auntie, please. Just think about what I've said. And he, he threatened to tell my husband. Which is why you need to tell your husband first before he hears it from another person. Oh my god, just tell me this is not true. Tell me it is not true. Even if you cheating on me, cheating on me with my own brother or sister. I'm sorry, eh? Hey! Stop him running! Obi, please, don't! Hey! I'm sorry to. Hey! Obi, oh. come back, please! You must sit on the end! Hey, Obi, please! Don't kiss somebody! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Obi, please come back! He said I'm sorry! Hey! Hurry, hurry up. Ah. Hurry up, let's leave this place before he comes back, please. Auntie, don't believe you ask him to leave when you return. I know my husband and I know I've lost him. No sane man will allow his wife that cheated on him to still be in his house. Auntie, why not we wait for him to return? At least I can speak on your behalf. Holly. You talk so much holy for your age. And I admire your wisdom. But first, you're still a child. And he will not listen to you. I know him. He will not listen to you. Secondly, you've done more than enough for me already. And I'm very grateful for that. I've been living with this scene of infidelity for a very long time now and it has been eating me up. But I'm glad that it has been taken off me. Thank you very much. Just imagine if I hadn't told my husband before Sita came. I would have felt so terrible. So, so terrible. And as much as things turned out this way, I'm somehow glad that I'm leaving his house with a trouble-free heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming into my life and turning things around for good. I will never forget it. I'm so glad. I've handed him over and I'll make sure we'll not see the light of day anymore. I'll deal with him in this town. I'll show him that he's touched me. I'll deal with him. What's happening? Why the bag? Where are you going to? I had to save you the stress of throwing me out. Who said I was throwing you out? I knew my marriage was over the, the moment I allowed Osita to sleep uh, with um, me. Auntie, Uncle, please. I think at this point you should continue this conversation at home. Please. It's alright. No problem. Let's go back to the house. This is mysterious. Let's go. Unbelievable. I was shocked when the doctor told me you were impotent. So I begged him not to tell you about it. 
because I wouldn't want it to break your heart. But the only mistake I made was to tell Osta. And he convinced me that it would be nice to get me pregnant. And I know you'll be happy if you had a baby. So that was why I agreed to his plans. I'm so ashamed of myself. I, I don't deserve you. I don't know how to apologize. I was aware of my condition. The doctor told me. He couldn't have kept it from me because it was against their ethics. I was so frustrated. I was so sad. I felt bad. I was crying almost every night. In fact, I wanted to end it all. The burden was so heavy. Not until you came up with the good news that you were pregnant. I was so excited. I was so happy. I said, well, maybe that's God's way of trying to make me a father. But then I rushed to my doctor to inform me of the good news. That was a sad moment. My doctor informed me that there's no way I could father. There's no way I could get a woman pregnant. But then, who could be the father of my son? He looks so much like me. His eyes. The semblance was so much. In fact, there was no point trying to question the paternity of the baby. If not that you came to confess to me, I wouldn't have believed that my brother could do such a thing. I'm sorry, please. Uncle, I know what she did is unforgivable and very unfair. But for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who forgives us at all times, despite the magnitude of our sin, please, I'm begging you, please forgive her. She confessed, which means she acknowledges that she betrayed you and ready to pay for her sins by leaving. I'm so happy you didn't let her leave because good women like her are very rare to find in our society today. Please. You know what a life of value is. You're so full of wisdom. At a very young age, you beat wisdom. Being able to come in between such a difficult case and you handle it as if there's nothing to it. I start to wonder who is that person that would have brought me to sit down with my wife to start talking. But you made it look as if there is nothing to it. Please, take it from me. Got a bundle of wisdom. Keep it up. The future is bright for you. Mm. If only you can remain who you are. But it's alright. I forgive you. You did something <laughs> that I never expected a woman to do so easily. But you did it. You understand my pains, you understand the difficulties and the agony in me. I went out of your way to fight for it. Not minding how the detriment to your own person. You went to bring a son to my home just to make sure that I'm happy. Who and who would do it? That is true love. When you talk about love, that's love in practice. This is my man. He's so feeling so bad because there's no child. 
and is incapacitated and you went out, I want to bring a child to home so that my husband will be happy, my dear. If not for anything, I love you for that single act. So, whether child or no child, please love me because I love you. I love you. Uncle, you can't be talking of no child in Vienna. I promise to be the child that will love and respect you both as my parents. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, you are still growing. Someday you get matured, you get married, and you have your own home. So what will happen to us? Is it not better we hope and pray to God that God will give us our own children? I know with him, like you said. Nothing is impossible with God. Yes. So I have faith and I believe that one day it shall come to pass. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank Amen. you for accepting to be our daughter. Thank, Thank you. you. This is mysterious. Unbelievable. is bleeding my whole world is empty I've lost my voice in a quiet It's just hard to believe that I've lost my precious one.